Hi everyone, I trust you all are doing well. So what we're going to do every time a user register on our site, what we want to give them a free 30 day trial. So end a message to indicate when this trial will end. And if they want to subscribe, they can just click the button and actually subscribe to our blog. Right, so let's get started. Right, so the first thing we need to update. So every time a user is created, so let's go to under app actions, fortify, create new user right here. We want to add that trial in here so what we want to change is the trial ends end date right here and we want to set that to now we're going to use a carbon instance and we want to set that to basically add a month you can obviously change this to add a week if you want to all right totally up to you and i'm just going to do a 30 days so i'm just going to add right there so if you want to be more specific you can do add days like this and you can say maybe 10 days 15 days or whatever the case might be for me i'm just going to do a month and i'm just going to copy this all right so i'm just going to copy this we're going to kind of use this in my factory as well so if we go to database factory under the user factory right here i just want to add that because i don't want to create a new user every time so just to test this out so i wanted to automatically add every new user when i see the database with this right here so let's quickly see the database in order to see the database we're going to just do php artisan migrate fresh and then test the seed like this all right so let's quickly do that right all done now the next thing I just wanted to show you and explain to you where everything is coming from. So if we go to database migrations, if you've done a jet stream Laravel cache installation, what you will have is you will have your users table. Okay, so as soon as you install cache here, you will see a customer, this one right here. So this customer columns will be added to the users table. Now this one trial ends at right there is the one that we're talking about. There's another trial ends at in the subscriptions table. I'm just doing this for the people that are new to the channel, right? So they haven't watched the previous episode. So this one is for the subscriptions time set. So this one we're going we use if we actually charge the customer, right? And we're working with Stripe so we get all the details, all the credit card information. Then we add a trial for them right here. Now this we only do if the customer needs to pay up front all right now the other one this one right here for the customer column one this one is if we don't charge the customer up front okay so then we automatically give them this trial right there all right so let's move on the next thing we need to do is we need to update our user model all right this one right here because we want the trials end a date to basically be cast to a carbon instance so we're just going to do trial ends add. I just want to cast this to a carbon because we want to do calculations with carbon, nice helper methods. So in order to do that, I just want to do this like this. Otherwise, by default, it will be cast as a string. And I don't want to make use of that. I want to be cast to carbon instance. All right, so let's quickly save that. So after we've done this, I want that message to basically appear in our layout file, layouts and our guest layout right here okay so this is basically how everything looks like so above my slot right here i want to display that message okay so let me just do that all right so the first thing i'm going to do i want to make sure the person is authenticated i don't want to display the message if the person is not authenticated otherwise you're going to get an error to say the authenticated user is null all right so now we're going to do an if statement inside here now we're going to check if the person if the authenticated user is on a generic trial so this is a helper method in laravel cache right so on that so that's a method so we're going to check if the person is on basically a trial like that please give this message all right so we inside here we're going to do a div with a padding top of let's say 16 and inside that we're going to do another div with a padding 2 and a bg green of let's say 500 you can decide what however you want okay and inside there we're going to do an h2 now this one let's just give it a class actually we're going to do a container mx auto auto okay and text white 
Right, so now that's our H2. And inside here, we can just say you, uh, you are currently uh, on a free trial, on a free trial that will end. And we can just specify in how many days. Now, the thing is, since I said to you guys, we want to make sure that we cast it to carbon. We Now we can make use of that carbon. So we're going to use now. All right. And then we just want to check a div in days, plural. All right. So the difference in days. And we're just going to get this authenticated user. All right. And then we just want to check when the trial ends it. So basically trial ends at. All right. So that's a nice carbon helper in order to us to determine between now and when this day. And it will give us the how many days it is. Right, and then we just pass in the days like this. Okay, we can just put uh, is like that. Right, the next thing I want to do is I want to basically give them an option to subscribe. Okay, so we can just do an if statement. So if the request is not, if the request uh, route is, let's just put in the route, is not a membership, the membership route. Okay, so if it's not that, then we can display this and let me just do an end if then we can just say you can subscribe yeah okay so we just do an anchor tag i'm just going to do the route membership and we can just put in here yeah okay just like that now what we what we're doing now is we check if the person is authenticated and then we check if they're on a generic trial let me just quickly show you where this is. Let's open our user model because it's easier to take it in if you if we understand it. So in the billable, so under the user model, go to the billable trade right there. You're gonna go to manage subscriptions. I think, and as you can see, here's the method. Determine if the start model is a generic trial. The generic trial is like in quotes right there, it just means the trial ends a date is not in the subscriptions is in the model itself so as you can see the trial is at the model level right there okay so then it will just check that right there okay so awesome stuff so let's close that off i just like you guys to understand it and now the thing is i don't want this message to be displayed if we own that membership route right there okay so let's quickly see if all is working well right so as you can see i'm locked in as john doe as you can see you are currently on a free trial that will end in 29 days you can subscribe here so if we click that button we need to go to the membership right here so we can sign up and you can see the message disappears all right so as you i don't want that message to be if they're actually on the same route there's no point in that all right so now the thing is if they do sign up i want this let's say the trial is 14 days left i want that message to basically disappear as soon if the let's say the customer signs up here so in order to change this we need to go to our payment controller and just set this trial ends at date to now so let's do that all right so let's quickly open our payment controller trailer this one right here now if you guys remember from a previous episode this is what we what we did right there but what we want to do now is we want to just update basically the authenticated user so we're just going to do uh, the authenticated all right so what we can do is we're just going to set the user and we're going to just say update all right so update that user and we're just going to say trial ends it and we're just going to set that basically to now just like that all right so after after we created the new subscription and then we just want to update that user and we just set the trial ends to null and then we redirect them to billing and we just say thank you for subscribing our thing is um, yes everything is good right there because we're using the same thing right there right so thank you guys for watching if you like the video please give it a like if you have any questions please ask them in the comment section and yes see you in the next one adios